Hello and welcome to a Games Dim a Beginner's Level course for EVE Online. I am your instructor Rutherford and this is probe scanning. If you are viewing this from the Games Dim YouTube channel, you can also enroll in this course at www.gamesdim.com. Perfect. So here are the course outcomes. Number one will be what you need to use the probe scanner, how to use core scanning probes, how to scan for a cosmic signature, and tips and trick, tricks for scanning. You'll notice on the screen already, I have two uh, menus up. One is the probe scanner menu, which is at the top here. The other is the directional scan, which is right here. And they're very easy to get. Let's say, for example, they're not up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click here, the scanners, we're gonna go to the left, and then we're gonna go back to scanners, go to the right. And when I did that, all I did was left click on the scanners, left clicked on the, the probe scanner, and then left click on the directional scanner. And the, these menus will come up, okay? Perfect. So you will see here, currently we have two anomalies called cosmic signatures in space. Now, you, you will also see here at the bottom, close to our heads up display that we have a core probe launcher. It's a Tech 1 variant. And I'm using Tech 1 core pro, uh, scanner probes as well. I will show you it's really easy, even with the Tech 1 versions, to find cosmic signatures. Uh, we also want to let you know if I look at our uh, cargo hold, we also have eight probes currently. So that's an eight additional probes. It's always good to bring eight more probes. You're going to need eight per launcher each time you send them out. And it's good to have an extra set. And for example, if you happen to find yourself in a wormhole, and for whatever reason, you forgot to reconnect or bring your probes back and they're gone. If you don't have an extra set, you're stuck and you'll have to destroy your ship and kill yourself and to be obviously plotted back to uh, Empire Space or known space, K Space. That's just a little aside. Perfect. So we currently have these uh, in our launcher. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to left click on the probes and you'll see that the probes are currently in space around us. If I zoom out. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. So what we want to do now is I like to put my group into a, I believe a pinpoint formation. So I'll click that once and you would be able to see, and then I'm gonna go scan. Now, what I do wanna do right away is let's go to the map. You can also hit F10. If and it should bring up this map right here, which is the solar system map. If your map comes up and you see, uh, let's see here, star, a star map, then all you need to do is go to, to solar system map, okay? But that shouldn't happen when you have probes out. I'm just gonna reduce that. Now you'll see that we didn't have anything come up. You see our signals are all zero. What we wanna do is zoom in, and you see how we have this little arrow here that's because we went to pinpoint you can go into this type of formation spread you can and then this is reconnect and this is return the probes now you notice because we had those eight probes in our cargo bay they're no longer here because they reloaded if I was to recall the probes there they are I can now right click stack all and you'll see there's eight left so let me once again launch probes it comes in these formation I'm gonna go to pinpoint Perfect, let's close this down. And we have these two, one here, one here. Okay, so let's choose this one. This one's actually the harder of the two because it was smaller. All I did was go to the center here. Now some people, they like to go here and then they move this arrow up and down key, then they come here, they go side to side. Don't bother with that. Just go to the center. You can move like this. Then go to this side and you can move this, okay? That's always easier than using the arrows. Now, when you once you do that, you'll notice how these probes now are below or within the sphere. What you want to do is click on your left mouse button, hold it, and scroll out till the majority of the interior of your probes are covering that red sphere. Now this might be a little wishful thinking, but let's see what happens. So now at this point, you click on the analyze. You can right mouse click and reorient your camera to the probes. 
You can zoom in by scrolling, whatever works for you. Okay, so we got some kind of a hit. You see that there? So I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna bring them down. They were at, okay, so they were at eight AUs. So you wanna bring them down to a minimum of four AUs. You can, if you're really good with your skills, bring it down to two, but let's just keep it at four and center that red dot right in the center of your square area here. And then let's hit analyze again. Now what we're doing here is probe scanning with core probes. These are not combat probes. With core probes, you can search out cosmic signatures. These are wormholes like this one is. It can be also other types of sites as well, like relic sites or data sites. It's okay, so we got a hit on that. Now when I'm reorienting, I'm just holding my left mouse button. I'm clicking it, holding it down, moving up and down, left and right, okay? And I can do the same thing there when I go to the center, hold the left mouse button down and get that yellow indicator right in the middle. If you ever notice that there's two yellow indicators, you always go to the yellow indicator that is closest to where your probes currently are. It will always be that one that you want to go to. That's a little trick, okay? So here we are scanning for cosmic signatures. We're gonna go down another level. Let's go down to, I missed the two, but we might get away with coming to the one. Now, remember, if you scroll in nice and tight, that's when you can know you can get even a better accuracy on where your probes are. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if I can get away with going from four to one AU on the range. Almost, okay, so we have 97.3. We still can't warp to it, so it'll be one more. So we come here, scroll in, left mouse button, go up. Looks like it's all oriented nicely. Let's move it down, 2.25 AU. Scroll in, move it a bit. Now, when you get good at this, you won't have to go all this scrolling in and moving it a bit and being ultra perfect. You'll be able to go very quickly, analyze, and if with good skills with say RSS or sisters um, probes and sister probe scanner, you could do you could conceivably do this within 30 seconds. Good, we've got it. So now we we can warp to it. You see that how it no longer says 97.3, it now says warp two. So at this point, I always recommend come here and recover active probes and click on it. Now you'll notice if we go to our cargo hold, there they are, stack all, our eight are in our cargo hold. Good. You wanna make sure that those are always safe. Now we can, you can right click on anywhere on this area here and go warp two if you wanna warp at range, or you can click right here and warp to zero. We're gonna leave the, the map. Active. You can do that by clicking here or the F10 key. And you'll notice now our ship is now going towards this wormhole. Ooh, look at that, there's our wormhole. That looks like potentially a, a C12 or a three. It looks like a C3. So that's a K12. That means that this is a wandering wormhole from this side. Show info on it. Unstable wormhole, okay. Of this kind, usually collapse within a few days. Uh, leads to parts unknown. So probably this is a C12 or three, depending, since, I'm just basing it on the color that I see. It's reaching the end of its life. So you could, you could be looking at anywhere from 10 minutes to I believe three or four hours. Has had its stability reduced by ships passing through it to a critical degree. So just about anything will collapse that wormhole. I wouldn't go through it if I were you. Medium sized ships can go through there. So that tells me this is a C1 or a C2 wormhole. Because with C3 wormholes you can actually get a battleship through, but anyway, that's just an aside. So let's recap. The first, uh, the first outcome that we have was what you need to use the probe scanner. We've talked about you need a probe launcher, 
and you need scan probes and a ship obviously with enough power grid and CPU to use that. Check, we got that done. How to use the core probes, really easy. We've looked over that. How to scan a cosmic signature, we found one. And tips and tricks for scanning. Remember if you get that yellow, you go to the closest one that's closest to your probes and always go for that. Perfect. So thanks for watching this instructional video for EVE Online. If you would like to see more videos of this type, please uh, visit us at www.gamestim.com. Fly safe, everyone. Bye now.